Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, this is Reflex Image. This is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification icon, if you already subscribe, I will come back. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I came about this brand picture. So, as you can see, I will be focusing more on this uh, book she's holding out her hand. Here's the before, she's actually holding a cardboard paper, or a carton I mean to say. So we're going to achieve these results, and also... I will be including the write-ups for it also. So I'll be giving out these templates of this uh, magazine. You can just customize it. So you see if you change the pictures here, change the content in the picture and do what, use it for the way image you want to use it for. So with no further ado, let's jump into action. The first thing we need to do is to do it. Let's crop out our picture into the size you want. So go to your crop tool. Or you can click C on your keyboard. So I'm using 4 by 5 into bracket 8 by 10. I'm going to do what? Click on OK. So now the next thing I will do right now is for me to do what? I want to select this carton out. So I'm going to select it in two different areas. So the first one, I'm going to select this side. I'll pick my polygonal axis like too. I'll make sure it's an addition. So I'm going to start from the edge like this. Which is why I'm doing it right now. So, as you can see, here is where the carton stop, but I'm going to take it up a little bit further so that I'm going to remove all the blemishes that are at the edge of the picture. Edge of the carton, I mean to see. So you can see like this. Can you see? So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come here and I'm going to stop. Can you see right now? So, I made a mistake here, so I'll just do it out to the selection like this. I'm going to come down. As you can see, I'm going to add this footer area also to it. And I'm going to go back up again. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to trim this hand where this hand is. So we are going to trim it so that it's going to see, seem as if she's holding the paper. Because we are going to remove this cardboard. And we're going to bring in the material we need. As you can see right now. So I'm going to meet you guys at the end of this. And boom, as you can see right now, we've done that selection. Next thing you just need to do is to control J on it. So at the turn of the background layer, as you can see, we have the carton on the separate new layer right now. One part of it. So I'm going to turn this back on right now. I'll go back to background layer again. And I'm going to select this other area too, this other side. Select it like this. Let me start from here. As you can see right now. Start like this. Just make sure I do it, okay? Let me just go like this. So just take your time to select it out perfectly so that whenever you place it in the magazine, it's going to look very, very perfect. And boom, this is done. I'll do it. I'll control G on this one also again. So if I'm to turn this off back right now, you can see we have the boots on two separate layers. So let's turn this back on right now. Let's start the initial editing. So go back to your background layer. Let's select these two and group them in a single layer. Control G on it. So let's name this layer what? Let's name it magazine. Magazine. So you can see right now. Now go to your background layer, control J on it. To do that, the next thing you need to do is to do what? Click on your quick selection tool. Or whatever tool you know how to use to select your subject. So I'm going to click on my quick selection and I'm going to click on select subject. Then I just have to wait for it to load up and select the subject for me. And boom. My picture is well selected already. As you can see right now. But it's not that perfect though. So I'll just come zoom in very well. I'll pick my polygonal axle too. And I'm going to make adjustments to the edges of the picture. Just to make sure I get a very, very nice and perfect selection for my picture. As you can see right now. So subtraction on this end. So now let's say we're done with the selection right now. Next you just need to do is to right click on it. Go to Feather under Federal. We'll be using 2.0 pixel. I'm going to click on OK. Then we're going to click on our max icon. So if I'm to turn off my background layer, as you can see, we have our subject on a different new layer. Next thing you just need to do right now is go back to our background layer, control J on it, and do what? Put down your control key or your command key if you're using a MacBook. Click on the max of the subject layer I just created right now, and do what? Go to select, other select, go to modify, then go to expand. So if you want to know how I do all this, watch my previous video, because I'm not focusing on that, on this particular step in the video tutorial. So I'll click, I'll click on OK. Then I'll do what? Go to my rectangle marker tool, make sure it's an addition, I'll scroll from the top, scroll from the right, scroll from the left. As you can see, 
then I'll scroll from the footer area also too. Then I'll just have to do what? Right click on it, then I'll go to fill, under fill, go to content aware, and I'm going to click on what? Click on OK. Just have to wait for it to load up. And boom, we've actually did what? We've extended our background to the way we want to be. What we need to select now. So now let's say we are done with the background editing right now. Let's go back to where we want to work on. So open the magazine up like this. Let's open the magazine up. So this is the first one. If I have to turn it off, let me turn everything off. Look at it. So that's the one we're working on right now. So let me turn it on back right now. If you watched the video to this point in time, that means you're loving my tutorial. So the only thing you can do to support me right now is just to click on the subscribe button and also drop a like. And if you also have a question, you can also drop a comment. You subscribing, you liking my video is going to make YouTube recommend my videos to others. And that's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. And note, I will also be dropping so many files that you guys can download for free. Files you need to be getting for premium. Each like count, each subscription counts. So I'll go to my file manager. I have my magazine somewhere around there and I'm going to load it up. So here is one of the magazines I'll be using. This is the one I'll be using for the front page. I've already designed this and I'll be giving you the PSD file for you guys to do a re-edit and try out yourself. So drag it down to Photoshop. And do what? Reduce the size to see if it's reduce it very well. Turn it the way you want it to be. You can see right now. Click on OK, right? Next you just need to do is to right click on it, go to max, create a clipping max, click on it, and you're going to do what? It's going to fit in the place you placed it on, which is this particular icon. If I'm to turn that off right now, turn it on, it's going to show up. So it's, I clicked it on what? On the carton I created earlier on under the magazine. Don't forget that. So I'm going to do what? Ctrl T on it. And I'm going to adjust it. Hold down my control key. I'm going to adjust it the way I want to be. So that it's going to be slanting a little bit for it to look very, very perfect for what you want to use it for. And once I'm done, all I just need to do is to do it. I'll click on my enter key. And boom, we already have this side in our picture. Next thing I just need to do is to click on the other one, which is the second part of it. Then I'll do what? Go to File Manager again. And I'm going to drag another one straight down. Into camera into Photoshop. I'm going to reduce the size also to I see fit. This one I'll just click on OK. I'll still right click on it. I'll do what? Click on create a clipping max. Ctrl T for free transform. I'll hold my control key my control key down and I'm going to do what adjust this one also. Just to give me the vibe of having a magazine as you can see right now. So that it's going to be two sided, it's not just going to be one sided. I'll do what? I'll click on my what? I'll click on OK. So you can see right now though this is no other perfect you can just do it take your personal time to do this very very well by using the control and stuff just to make sure the both sides align perfectly then we're done with this next thing we need to do is just to do it write out all these text like this and we already have a nice manipulation if you want to me to drop a video and i do this kindly comment down in the comment section and i'm going to do it i'm going to walk you through how i did this text in less than three minutes See you guys on my next video tutorial, Reflex Out.